let's talk about the control shapes. So by default, MGR tries to calculate the size of the controls and also provides a default shape for each control. Basically, they are curves. So I have the, here this guide that I built that have like two arms, left and right, and he has these uh, shapes that define the control, like this circle or sphere, this is square, and if I change to, to FK, or to, uh, we have these like uh, boxes that have the length of each section, and it calculated this automatically using the default shapes. But let's say we want to change this. So the first thing is we can edit this curve like a regular curve, so we can just edit the, s the shape of the curve like this. We can also replace the shape of the curve with other curve. So let's say, um, like for instance, I'm just gonna create here um, circle. So I'm just gonna, from in gear menu, we can create a uh, new controls, control part and control shape. Doesn't matter. This just created without anything selected. So let's say I'm just gonna create a circle here. So I just create the circle there. It's important to create it without anything selected. If not, it's gonna try to change hierarchies. But I have this one, and just the shape itself is like this. And I want to change it for this and this one. So what I can do is just select like this. First the shape, that uh, the original one, now the target that we want to change. And under M gear, not under, sh under shifter, but under rig bits, just gonna turn down the menu here, we have two options to work with shapes. The first that I want to talk is the replace one that it's Actually, it's the second one here on the menu. So this one is gonna replace the shape. So I have this shape, so I replace it. Obviously, we need to adjust the positions because it's uh, local. Um, so, so the replacement is happening in a local space, so we need to, to align. And then I can change this by this, so I replace again. And maybe this by this also, and replace again. So it's gonna be changing or um, shapes with this one and we can change it later more with more uh like tweaks like maybe this one the one this goes a little down and things like that okay so i'm happy with this so how i mirror to this the other side well we have a nice tool that is called mirror control shapes this is not related only with uh, m gear or you can use it with your own rigs as far as it follows some uh, naming patterns, but basically we can use the left uh, to right, so it's gonna work from all, everything that is left is gonna mirror to the right, or the right to the left, or on selection. In this case, I'm gonna use on selection. So I select my controls, the ones that I want to mirror, or just these ones for the moment, and it's gonna look for an equivalent right side, and it's gonna and it's gonna mirror. And here. It's important to note that it's mirroring on world space. So before I was talking, this replace is working on the local, but this is mirroring on the world space. So that's important to remember. So be careful with that. So what I need to do is obviously reset my positions like this. And now when I do this, I can replace like that all my shapes. But if I rebuild this, if I delete my guide, my rig, and build again my guide, uh, my guide is hide now. Obviously, we lose this, we lose this uh, configuration. Well, it's in the FK, sorry. It's there and there. So we lose this configuration. So in order to to keep this configuration, we need to extract the controls. So I'm gonna repeat this process again. So I just select this. And I'm just gonna replace shapes. I, you, you can see I can select multiple, so I can replace several at the same time. And um, just select all the points. And I'm just gonna rotate with snap. So, okay, there we go. Oh, one more. Yeah. And now, well, I can use this left to right instead of using selection. Oh, 
Oh, looks like it's not taking the... Sorry, okay, I'm just gonna use selection. Okay, now. So we have that. I can delete this one now. And in order to store this, we need to use extract control that is here or under the menu of shifter, extract controls. It's exactly the same. So we're just gonna select the curves I want to keep and push the button. So basically it's tracked it, these curves and it's storing it under the, the guide under this control section here or controllers organization so it gives the names and it name it like control buffer so if I unhide this you'll see it's the same and now I can safely um, delete my rig and next time I build it's gonna it's gonna reveal with my my shape so in this case it's the again the FK so here we go hey are this here are the the blank shape. I'm sorry, they're not the blank shapes. The the shapes of the control, and yeah, that's it. So this is how it works. And obviously, this when we export the guide that we will talk soon about that, um, you will see that this also exports the the shape of 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 our control. So we don't lose these custom shapes for the controls. Okay, so that's it for this video. Next, move to the next one.